Germany stole my military baggage and I'm not happy with that. I actually have uh, Chaos here on call with me. He's from uh, Germany. Uh, what's up, man? I have questions for you because I was supposed to receive my stuff here in Korea and um, somehow it uh, arrived in Germany. Now, uh, Germany didn't literally steal my items. That's a clickbait title, clickbait, whatever you're here, but it did make it to Germany. Um, let me explain. So, uh, and I have questions for you guys. It has to do with post postal uh, work and service in Germany versus America uh, so I can understand how things work, right? Um, well, I packed up my things with, you know, uh, at home and whatnot back in Florida. Uh, you know, there were two different shipments. The first shipment, the moving company came, the first moving company came and uh, grabbed all my items, threw it in storage. That was fine. Then the second moving company came, they grabbed my items and they put it on a truck to a docking port to you know, ship by boat to Korea, right? Well, on this truck ride, they stop by another gentleman's house. They pick up his goods because he's getting stationed in Germany. He's actually in Germany right now. Well, uh, it takes about two months by boat to ship your, you know, your items to whatever country, whatever. And uh, well, what wound up happening was I received a call, right? I mean, I was calling to go and schedule uh, my, my my delivery date because I made, I made it in Korea. I got my apartment. The only thing I did not have and that I still don't have are my items, right? Um, I got an email actually from the moving company saying that my items arrived in Korea, January 11th. So of course I do my due diligence. I make calls, I'm like, hey, I want to get my my delivery scheduled for February the 7th, if that's possible. They're like, yeah, sure. They set me up with the local moving company that's going to take my stuff from storage here in Korea and drop it off at my apartment. Well, let's fast forward to the Germany part because y'all are here probably for that, right? Well, uh, the moving company got here two days ago um, and I was very shocked and disappointed. Now, one thing that I left out, one crucial detail, right, is that I received an email after getting off the phone, having scheduled my delivery on February 7th, saying, word for word, James Bray, possible mix up from, go figure, the moving company that I was just on the phone with. And I'm like, what? This can't be real. So I read the email and it's like, hey, um, <clears throat> There is, your, your, your items are currently on their way to Korea. Now that contradicts a prior email that I received saying that my stuff was already in Korea. And I'm reading this like, what? It's like, we need you to verify that the items in Korea are actually yours. So I was very confused because the email read, I'm gonna say it again, your items are on, your, on their way to Korea. We need you to verify that the items that are in Korea right now are yours. So I'm like, what is happening? Give us a call for any more questions. So I obviously gave them a call, right? They're like, James, listen, this never happens, but it happened to you. And I'm like, what do you mean? And they're like, listen, when we went to go pick up your stuff and this other guy's stuff, we accidentally swapped all of you guys' items and we shipped all of your shiznit to uh, Germany. <laughs> to Germany. The gentleman received my package two months later, right? It's been almost three months since, I, it's month three, the end of month three. So we're moving on to month four, right? Of me not having my stuff here in Korea. The gentleman in Germany opens up the shipping crate, sees that my green screen's in there, my PlayStation 5, my YouTube plaque, all that stuff is in there. And he's like, this is not my stuff. So then I get a ping saying that, the, on the delivery day, February 7th, um, the items arriving won't be mine. So like I said, two days ago, a uh, moving company gets here, they ring my doorbell and stuff. They're like, we're here. And I you know, walk outside and mind you, my wife is freaking out about all this because she's like, I have some sentimental items in there of my, of my own, you know? And you know, she has a lot of really like, you know, sensible things that she's very attached to and stuff like that. So I'm like, you know, hopefully, the sh they got the, the shipment thing right because I had a third phone conversation. They said, you know what? We actually fixed it, so your stuff should be here. Well, I go outside, the moving truck is open, and they open up the wooden shipping crate. Inside there are a bunch of wrapped items. 
they give me a checklist. They're like, hey, go through this whole crate, open up all the items, and let me know if these are your items. I open up the first item, it's a bike tire. I don't have a bike. So at that point I knew they done messed up. <laughs> I open up the next item, hunting gear. I don't hunt, I'm a city kid, okay? I don't hunt, um, not my shiznit. Go on, so forth and so on, you get, the, you get the idea. Well, why am I making this video? Because it brought something to my attention, right? I heard you guys complain about the service DHL, right? I've never personally had an issue with them. They were pretty, exp uh, they, 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 the shipments through them were expedited, so I've never had problems. Everything's arrived on time. But in Germany, I'll be talking mess about how they, they bang up your packages, this, that, the third, and I have chaos on call with me. How would you rate Germany's delivery system when it comes to local delivery? Because here's the thing, my package in Germany got delivered to the gentleman's house over there through a German company once, it's, it, once it touched the German soil. So it was being handled by an American company when it, uh, from the time it got from America to Germany. But then when the gentleman contacted the shipment company in Germany, it's like what the initial shipment company from America handed it over to a German shipment company. So then they delivered it to uh, you know, that gentleman's house. My concern is that my items got damaged because y'all were saying, I don't know, man, DHL be messing up people's stuff. So chaos, question for you. Lord, <laughs> uh, how would you rate Germany's delivery system, mailing system? And can you give me like some insight on like your experiences, good and bad on that? Well, when it comes to delivery times, it varies a lot. Mm -hmm. But they don't put it on your porch, so I'm happy with that. They don't put it on your porch? No, no, no. They, uh, they ring your doorbell. If nobody opens up, uh, they put like this little piece of paper in your mailbox. That's considerate. Um, telling you to pick up your package at a package station. See, America, they will drop it off literally at your front doorstep if you're not there and they'll leave and it'll just be chilling there, bro. And it could be something expensive too. The only possible way they wouldn't do that is if it has a priority shipment label on it because they actually need you to sign for it. But like, if not, bro, they could drop an entire, like for instance, my PC, like the, the, the thing I'm making the video on right now, um, they dropped my package off at my doorstep and didn't let me know that my PC had arrived until like an, like 30 minutes to an hour later. And my PC had just been sitting outside. Anybody could have stolen it, you know? So um, very interesting. Also, as far as handling goes, how would you say like on a scale of one to 10, using all the different shipment companies or, I mean, or like mailing companies you've used out there to get products, how like, delicate are they with the handling of your packages? Um, DHL. Yeah, DHL. Really, good. really? yeah, but yeah. Then I... there's, then there's like um, GLS and UPS. Oh, yeah, UPS is notorious for messing people's stuff up. Y'all have UPS out there yeah. in Germany? Yeah, we do. Oh my Lord, that's crazy. Um, well, we do have you, yeah. everybody watching this, give me your experiences on your uh, on the shipping processes with uh, your items to your house and whatever, because I wanna know if my items are damaged or not. I mean, I'm not gonna know until I get them back because they are literally being shipped to me as we speak. And I'm like, how the heck did my items make it to Germany before I did? <laughs> I've been trying to plan German trips for three years. And um, for those that are like, James, you keep leading us astray. Listen, blame that on the pandemic. The pandemic's not a thing anymore. So I'm working on a, uh, a little something, something to dr touch down in Germany. But I'll let you know when I actually like have plane tickets in hand. Um, this was just a stressful situation because of course I had to tell my wife about it and whatnot. And she was very upset, um, the crying the whole nine yards. And I understand because it's like, yo, what the heck? The problem guys is it's not just a general mix up. There could be an issue where, uh, the individual that unpacked my items probably kept some for himself. Um, I got questions when I brought this up on Twitter. Oh, James, like, well, did you keep anything for yourself? First of all, no, I did not. Second of all, let's say I was the kind of person to keep items that weren't mine, which is stealing. Um, I would have gotten the worst end of that deal. They only had bike tires, really old clothes and hunting gear and things I would never use in their shipment. In my shipment, like I said, I had a PS5, two TVs, my green screen, um, an air fryer, um, a lot of like high-end shiznit, you know? We thought that we could trust 
the process and um, it failed, unfortunately. So that's the story of how the military um, goods that I had were stolen by Germany. Germany, the country, stole my goods. <laughs> but they probably handled them with care and whatnot because, you know, it made it in the hands of, of, a, of a reliable company, I hope. I don't know what company out there handled my goods. I hope DHL um, actually handled my, my military goods and stuff like that. Cause on top of all that, some of my military uniforms were in that shipment as well. Um, uh, things I need to do my job, you know what I mean? So uh, very interesting stuff. What do you guys, okay, I'm gonna leave you guys off with three questions. Question number one, on a grand scale, just like I asked Chaos here, he's from Germany, um, you know, he gave me his opinion. I want you guys' opinion. Rate the mailing system, the shipment system, the post office system on a scale of one to 10. Um, and then also like rate the reliability of uh, that that same system on a scale of one to 10. And then the last question I'm gonna leave you guys off with is what happens if your package does not get delivered to your location? For instance, you order some shoes online, they never arrive. Or better yet, what happens when your package arrives and the item is chronically damaged? Like it looks balled up. You order a PC online, it arrives at your doorstep completely busted. What do you do? What is the process in Germany? I would like to know to compare that to the process here in America. Uh, I'll give you a very quick example. Uh, I almost lost my PC, right? The military, how they handle sh uh, uh, mailing is weird. So I tried to express ship my PC to Korea before I got there, right? Um, I, sh I shipped my PC out a week early. It got here a week early, but when it made it to the military post office, I had mailed my PC to a friend, but I put my name on it. And since the military didn't see my friend's name on the package, they immediately kicked it back. Now, here's a funny thing about America and its post postal service, right? When you get a package returned to sender is what it's called, uh, they do not track the package getting returned back to you. So it could take weeks, months, a half a year, it, you'll never know until it arrives back on your doorstep. Um, so I had to try to track down my package and it was impossible. Does something like that happen in Germany? Because if your package, like you send a package to a friend and let's say you don't have the proper mailing, whatever, do they return it to you? And if they do return it to you, do you get uh, tracking information going back to you? You know, you get tracking information going to your destination, but what about, what if it gets kicked back to you? Can you track it coming back in the reverse? Let me know all of those answers in the comments down below. Let's open up a discussion. See you soon.